So while we plan writing course effectively, we'll have to keep in view the goals of the writing course and how to materialize those goals into practice. And these goals, while putting them into practice, we will have to take care of the institutional constraints, what the institution wants us to do. For instance, for example, we have long-term goals, but the institution wants our students to be trained for a board exam. So that might come into our goals, might come into conflict with the institutional constraints. So within this module, we'll have to, we will look at the how we can make the balance between the goals set forth for writing course and while taking into view um, the institutional constraints. So writing as a skill is, is considered the most anxiety provoking skill. I have also observed when I taught uh, uh, writing course, especially scientific writing or uh, technical writing to BS engineering students. What I came to hear was a number of stories like that gives us butterflies in the stomach and sweaty palms and th this gives us a lot of anxiety. So when we plan a writing course, we'll have to look at this element how to how to lower the effective filters by effective filters i mean anxiety um, feelings of ill will or um, uh, demotivation so we'll have to take these into view while planning uh, goals for a writing course we'll have to take into view like how we can create a learner's conducive environment. So, planning a writing course is all about making choices and then taking decisions according to those choices. So, there can be, for example, constraints by the institution, by the ministry that they want their students. For, for instance, if we look at our ninth and 10th class students or intermediate students, they are there with the teacher for a couple of years and they are there for the teacher to be appear to appear in the board exam so so while planning a writing course our purpose is to ask ourselves as language teachers whether our students want to pass the exam or want to develop writing skill so especially in the pakistani context we are faced by a sort of double challenge where we have not only to develop writing skills as as well, but also we want our students pass the exam as well. So this is kind of a tricky balance which a language teacher will have to uh, will have to take care of. So let me clarify here that there is no magic formula with the with with english language teachers which they can like give a magic pill to the students which will work and teach them writing no so while planning the goals of a writing course we'll have to articulate whether we want to focus on the accuracy of grammar spelling and punctuation or if as compared to this one we have uh, the notion of fluency so whether we will have to develop student, uh, student skills into fluent writer and they will have to compose or write sentences or pick from MCQs. So this is how planning a writing course demands careful craft of goals. So while crafting goals, we'll have to keep in view our learners their educational context, their cultural context, their socio-political context as well, and remember even the religious one. So do we want our students to write or demonstrate mastery of form? I'm not in favor of this one because I'm in favor of making a balance between form and meaning, which is 
accuracy and fluency form stands for accuracy and meaning stands for um, uh, fluency so remember as language teachers we'll have to experiment with the language with our students so we'll have to record we'll have to ask them to record their experiences and reactions and how they generate or communicate ideas so this is how i always have been emphasizing throughout this course that we'll have to treat students as a community with diverse needs and where we will have to bring in such an environment which encourages which uh, uh, which uh, makes them think writing positively and which, which raises their confidence so as a language teacher we'll have to uh, sort of be uh, eclectic in terms of adopting any method and i would suggest you when you become as language teachers to adopt those methods which suit the geo political socio cultural or religious contexts of your students so uh, we cannot treat writing as a product not as as ends as means um so we cannot force students produce texts within 30 minutes on a prescribed topic on the other hand we can allow students to brainstorm ideas put those ideas into words link the words into ideas write the first draft and send it for feedback or get the peer feedback then revise then edit and then think of writing the final draft 